advisor was Dr. Brad Hines. Um, so one of the projects I worked on last year was a solar energy project where we installed solar panels and provided shade to some of our organic grazing cows. So this solar system, we were lucky to get a grant from the Environment and Natural Resources Trust Fund to do this project. And we installed this 30 kilowatt solar system back in June 2018. Um, just some details about the solar system. As I mentioned, it's a 30 kilowatt system. Um, the panels are mounted about eight feet off the ground so that cows can uh, go up and rub against the solar panels. The total cost of the system was about $80,000. standing underneath a solar panel, a 200 kilowatt solar array. This is a true collaboration between the West Central Research and Outreach Center and the University of Minnesota Morris. They came to us and wanted to know if we would uh, be interested in putting a, a bigger solar array in one of our pastures. So of course doing the research that we did, we, we agreed to it. And today we're standing in uh, one of our pastures close to the University of Minnesota Morris campus and we have about 80 dry cows and springing heifers. And it's a sunny day out today and they're enjoying the shade underneath the solar panels that uh, was the purpose. So we can produce energy and use shade for our cows. So at the previous solar system, as I mentioned before, we conducted a study last summer, um, which essentially investigated using solar panels to provide shade for uh, organic grazing cows. So in this study, we had 24 milking cows um, and 12 cows had no access to any type of shade uh, at all whatsoever. And 12 cows had access to the solar system and access to the shade cast by those solar panels. We looked at a variety of measurements such as respiration rates, uh, body temperature, fly counts, um, drinking bouts, etc. And we did not find any differences in milk production between the two groups. We only had those cows on the study for about 28 days during the summer. So we probably didn't see any differences in milk production because it was such a short time frame. Um, however, we did see a reduction in respiration rates between the cows that had shade and the cows that did not have shade. The cows that had shade had uh, quite a bit lower respiration rates during the hot part of the day than the cows that had no shade. We also had these boluses in the reticulum of all 24 cows, and this is a Smax Tech bolus, and it records body temperature. So we were able to compare the two groups and we found that the cows that had access to shade 